So today I wanted to talk to you a bit about this drone and more specifically this attachment that goes on the front of it. This is Moment's new anamorphic lens for the Mavic 2. This is the first and only product of its kind on the market right now and as of the time this video is going live, it just came out this week. So Moment sent this to me to test it out and share it with all of you guys so I figured today we'd do a bit of that in this video starting out with talking about how it's designed and how you can attach it to your drone. So the design of this lens is pretty interesting. Once we take the lens cap off, we can see we've got this high quality glass anamorphic element on the front and this part clips onto the front of the drone's camera. But that would weigh down the gimbal and mess up the calibration and the movement of the camera when you're flying. So we've also got this metal piece that's basically just a counterweight that goes on the back. So it wraps around the camera. Actually, let me just show you. So before you even think about touching that anamorphic lens, the first thing you need to do is let the drone set itself up on its own and then take the front glass cover of the drone's camera off so that we have room to attach the anamorphic lens. Once that's done, you can just flip the drone over on its back and attach the counterweight first, then clip the front part of the lens onto that counterweight. And then you're done. That's actually it. And now the lens is on the drone and you can send it off into the skies and get great footage. So needless to say, I'm pretty excited to test this little lens out. But standing around and talking about it is pretty boring and you can't really fly a drone in the woods anyway. So how about we hit the road and find a spot to fly it? explain to you what an anamorphic lens actually does if you don't know which is pretty important so an anamorphic lens does a lot of different things to your image but what you'll notice most when you're actually filming is that it stretches the entire frame vertically so then when you're editing you have to go and basically squash it back down and it ends up in an authentic actual widescreen aspect ratio so that's where we get that 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio is from anamorphic lenses. In addition to stretching that image out, an anamorphic lens is also gonna give you a few other super cinematic qualities to your image, like having that barrel distortion around the edges and most notably, the lens flares that you get. So we're filming some headlights over here on the road and you can see you get those ridiculous J.J. Abrams Starship Enterprise lens flares in your shots authentically without having to go in and After Effects and add them. So needless to say, an anamorphic lens for a drone is really cool. This is a really interesting way to differentiate your footage and just give it that extra cinematic quality that you can't really get any other way. These are features that you can't just replicate in After Effects. So if you want to check out the lens for yourself or even purchase it, there will be a link in the description to Moment Shop. I've had a great time testing it out over the last couple weeks and I think you will too. But I hope this video has helped to inform or at least entertain you and if it did, do feel free to share your support by leaving a like on the video, sharing it with your friends, or even subscribing to my channel. I upload new filmmaking tutorials, vlogs, things like that every week or two weeks. So subscribe for that and I'll see you in the next one.